Are you having difficulty being consistent with taking the actions that will allow you to align with your health and fitness goals? Well, if you struggle with consistency, then this video is for you. Today, we're going to do some tapping to help you to release the blocks that keep you from being consistent in taking the actions you want to take in order to align with your health and fitness goals. If you're new to tapping, there'll be a link below that will tell you more about it. For today's purposes, follow along. As you know, the things we do regularly, consistently, are the things that make up who we are. Our habits are what define us. And the habits that we've cultivated that support our health and fitness goals, that support our well-being, are the most productive and conducive habits to our overall health and well-being. Some of us, though, have consistent habits that put us down, that are not in alignment with our best interests. So today's tapping is going to be to help you to align more fully with those positive habits that you want to cultivate and apply regularly, consistently, so that you can reach your goals. It's the things that you do daily and regularly that will affect the outcome, little by little, step by step. It's also really good to start with one small thing. You don't want to overwhelm yourself and then work from there. So let's start with some tapping. If it's true for you that you are having difficulty being consistent in an area of your life, maybe you want to put in some healthy foods, or you want to drink more water, or you want to eat a healthier breakfast, whatever it is that you want to be more consistent with. Maybe you have a meditation practice that you're not consistent with, something that you know will help you and support you in feeling good about yourself, about your body, about your life, but you are not able to consistently be applying it. Then choose one of those things and we'll tap on that. So we start with the setup statement on the side of the hand and the interesting paradox about tapping or any other way of transformation is that we have to accept where we're at without beating ourselves up so that we can evolve it and shift it. Often, if we're not consistent about something, we push harder, we strive harder, and it's usually because there are some inner blocks that keep us from being consistent. And that's what we want to address so that we can be more in alignment with what it is we want to do. So take a deep breath in and let it go. Even though I struggle with being consistent, with taking good care of myself, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel disappointed in myself and frustrated because I have no consistency when it comes to taking good care of myself, today I choose to accept myself with compassion. Even though I've been struggling with being consistent with doing the things I want to do that will support me, Today, I choose to accept myself with love and compassion. And take a deep breath in and let it go. And as always, if the words I say don't totally land with you, then go ahead and replace them. If you're having difficulty accepting yourself, just say, wouldn't it be nice if I could be more accepting of myself? You start wherever you're at. And take another deep breath in and let it go. I feel so frustrated that I'm not consistent with the things that I want to do to take care of myself. And I accept that this is where I'm at with compassion. And even though I've been trying and striving and pushing, I still have difficulty showing up for myself consistently. Today I choose to love, honor, and accept myself with compassion 
and be curious about what the deeper drivers are that are keeping me stuck in these patterns. Even though it's been a struggle to be consistent with the self-care practices that I want to acquire and develop, today I choose to have compassion for myself. Even though I feel frustrated with myself and somehow sad that I can't do what's right for me, it's often easier for me to do for others, and yet I have difficulty showing up for me. And today I choose to love, honor, and accept myself with compassion, release the judgment, release the struggle. Today I choose to be more accepting of myself, release the need to beat myself up and to judge myself. Today I choose to accept myself with compassion. Even if I'm struggling with consistency, I'm still okay. Even though it's been a challenge for me to show up for myself consistently, I still accept myself, even though I've been in this pattern of consistently not showing up for myself. Today, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself with compassion. Take a deep breath in and let it go and just tune into your specific area that you'd like to be more consistent with? How can you look at it from a different perspective? Maybe you're overwhelming yourself with trying to do too much at once, make too many changes at once. Maybe you're pushing and berating yourself too much. It starts with compassion and curiosity and being gentle with yourself. Wouldn't it be nice if I could take one small step, choose one small action that I'd like to apply in my life and cultivate some consistency with it, one step at a time, one day at a time. Be gentle and loving with myself. Release the need to beat myself up. As I get present to the moment, I choose to release the past and all the stories that I tell myself that keep me stuck in this pattern of not showing up for myself. Today, I choose to release it all, the thoughts, the feelings, the memories, that keep me from showing up for myself consistently. I choose to release it from every fiber of my being. I choose to let it all go so that I could step into the present moment with a clean slate in the present I choose to be consistent with one small behavior. I choose to support myself in following through one step at a time. Maybe I set a timer if I want to meditate and just show up for that. Maybe I plan a healthy, nourishing breakfast. And that's all I need to do, nothing more. Today I choose to make one decision, one step. I release anything else. I keep it simple. And then support myself in being consistent with that behavior. 
I cheer myself on. I keep it simple. I love, honor, and appreciate myself. And if I feel some resistance, I accept myself with love and compassion. Maybe my inner child is scared. There's a deeper driver and I wanna embrace myself with love and compassion, release the need to beat myself up and judge myself. Today I choose to take the steps, the baby steps, choose one behavior that I know will support my health and well being. Remembering that I am worthy and deserving of my good help, that I am worthy and deserving of my attention and care. Today I choose to accept myself with love and compassion. I release the stories that I tell myself that stop me from making myself a priority from taking the actions that align with my health and fitness, from loving myself unconditionally. And I'm so grateful and appreciative that I'm taking the time today to release the things that get in the way of consistent self-care. I'm worthy and deserving of taking good care of myself. And as I take good care of myself, I can be more present for those who are near and dear to me. I take a deep breath in, let it go. I get into the present moment. The present is an opportunity to shift the past. And today I choose to engage in what supports my highest best self. And if I slip off the path, I simply re-engage with love and compassion. I release the need to beat myself up. Today I choose to be there for myself. I'm absolutely worthy and deserving of good self-care. And today I choose to step in and take care of myself, knowing that as I take care of myself, I have so much more to give. One step at a time, one decision at a time, I'm so grateful and appreciative that I'm taking the time today to release what no longer serves me and to align with my highest good. And bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Tune into yourself and your body. And if other things came up around this, go ahead and keep on tapping. You might want to even journal releasing the story, stepping into the new story. What does it look like and feel like to be more consistent with those self-care things that you want to do so that you can be the best you, showing up for yourself regularly, one step at a time, one action at a time. Take it slowly, love yourself, release the judgment, and listen to this video as often as you need and want to, to help you to get on track. I hope that this was helpful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you need some support in helping you unravel the blocks that are keeping you in patterns that do not support your highest good, go ahead and book a free consultation with me. I'd be happy to chat with you and learn if we're a good fit to work on the deeper drivers that are keeping you stuck. Until next time, keep on taking good care of yourself. Bye now.